and we're live with another live stream. Welcome back, everyone. I just decided to stream after watching BFAB's live stream because, you know, I haven't done this in a while. So why not just uh, do it while I'm picking these orders? Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can pick it while talking to whoever comes in stream and such. But um, it's going to be a little difficult, so I'm going to try and use a space that's right in front of the camera as best as possible. But uh, let's let's go find out. So your boy Evan is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, Red Brick Production, or sorry, Studios is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Dawn and Smash is here. He says first, but no, you're actually the third, but thank you so much for coming. appreciate it. Uh, your boy Evan says, yeah, he was first. Uh, Wooden Bacon is here also. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. All right. So I have an order to the right of me, and I'm going to try and get this ready. Uh, I suppose we'll start with the orange that is in this order. And let me show you how, how many orange bricks I actually have. It's very surprising. Kind of have a mess back here. I've been uh, trying to sort through my specialty parts, and it really didn't go too well. Uh, there's tons of it, and uh, I still have to sort it. Out, you know. So, what are y'all saying? As you can see, I was first. Uh, let's see. What do you think about the new small moving leg pieces? Leg pieces. Small moving leg pieces. I'm not totally sure what you're talking about there. But if you could explain it, then, you know, I can figure it out. Um, I might have seen whatever you're talking about, but I don't really know exactly. There's been a lot of news lately, and I, uh, I sadly wasn't the first to uh, post about it. And actually, I didn't really post about it anyways, because I was, like, uh, maybe going to be the 12th person to post about it. So I was like, yeah, it's not worth it now. So didn't. Then do it. Uh, let's see. Kind of want to make a order and see you do it live. Okay. Well, if you make a uh, decent size order that's not too big, then sure I can do that live for you. Then, but of course you would have to pay right away because that's what I do. Whoever pays first, I, I get to their order first because they're priority, priority wise on the list. Uh, if you wanted to, you can check out the link below uh, in the comments, or not the comments, the description. It should be there. Uh, so if you wanted to check it out, uh, I'm not asking you to. Let's see. Uh, wooden Bacon, I was watching another stream, and uh, I decided to uh, to your sh stream since I haven't seen a stream for you. And because I wanted to support you also, you're a fast organizer. <laughs> well, thank you, man. Appreciate you coming on to this stream. I haven't, yeah, I haven't streamed in, since Brick World Chicago. So, you know, it's been a while. And that's probably what you're thinking about the Brick World Chicago um, uh, Brickhead family um, video. Yeah, uh, I, I try. I try to sort pretty quickly. Doing streams like this really doesn't make me too fast. Uh, like the other day, I was on. Fab stream building the brickheads. Um, this one, Owen and Blue. I wasn't really fast on there because you know I was streaming with BFAB and such. Let's see. Hey, Collecting Brick is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I think this is the first stream that you have joined on mine. I'm gonna make you a mod because I don't have any mods currently on the stream. So there you are. And also you're a good friend of mine. So there you are. Mod. Let's see. There is new short moving. Uh, short moving leg pieces in the oh, okay yeah actually yeah I, i've seen the photos of the um the cms I, I just didn't know any details about any of them uh i think i know some of the characters i can't name them all off but yeah i didn't know that that's that's really interesting also you uh also just so you know it's me oh okay oh cool awesome man well thank you so much for joining the stream i'll uh Subscribe to your channel right now because you're a pretty cool dude, dude on Instagram. So there you are. All right. So all subbed up now. Let's see. Can you do Lego Batman movie customs? <laughs> I'm not really a, a custom uh, minifigure builder, if that's what you're asking, or if you're asking about like mocks. I, I could definitely do mocks, um, just not on Batman at the moment. Uh, whenever I get back to my mom's house on Sunday, I will be beginning my uh, big mock for the Lockwood Estate. Uh, you gotta tune in for that video. I, 
I think I could possibly release that video on Sunday, the first ever update, kind of showing you how many parts I actually have of uh, that one set or how many copies of that one set. So go check that out whenever that comes out. Tay Bricks is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I totally left in, uh, Digital Blade when I saw you were streaming a well. while. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Not trying to steal his viewers, but um, um, I I just would rather stream myself because I haven't done this in a while, and I thought I could talk to you guys and coming in and such. Thanks, bro. No problem, uh, your boy Evan. Uh, let's see. How much are full boxes of CMF minifigures? Because I'm considering buying a box of the CMF figures. Uh, I believe a full box uh, has 60 minifigures, and there are four dollars, and they are four dollars a piece. So that calculates into 280 dollars, so almost 300 dollars. But with tax and such, it'll be you know over 300 dollars probably. Uh, and here, oh, bricks and pieces is here. Welcome, thank you so much for coming. I'll be back. I'm ch uh, check your brick link. Okay, awesome. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Adon. And smash, okay, okay. Uh, you made it. You must be slow because you are in UK time. Jeez. All right, I'm gonna scoot up a little bit. Hopefully, you guys can still see my face. I'm not totally sure. Okay, I'm a little cut off. That's okay. If I stood straight up, uh, you couldn't see me at all. Hey, Joaquin is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it. Uh, I get the boxes for 150 to 200 dollars. Nice, that is awesome, man. So you get them on a pretty good discount. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you must have like uh, cutting out the middleman situation going on, kind of like uh, minifigure dreams. Let's see what's up, stud. <laughs> Brick pasta is here. Welcome, thank you so much for coming. Hello, what you like collecting bricks? Uh, I think this is great. We can we get to catch up with you. Especially since school keeps you busy. Yeah, yeah. School, school is really rough. Today was a, a rough day. Uh, I've been trying to just relax for a little while um, after getting out of school. So um, now I'm streaming. <laughs> so no, no longer relaxing. Just going to be streaming. But even though that this is, you know, kind of relaxing, talking to you guys. Appreciate everyone coming in and such. So you know, it's fun. <clears throat> I want to build the original Arkham Asylum on a stream soon. Oh, awesome, man. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I don't think I remember the original one. I remember, like, the gray one and, of course, the um, the uh, Lego Batman movie one. But I, I don't know about the, the one before. You know, I might have seen it in the past, but I just can't remember. So I got to look that up someday. Actually, I think I have a little image in my head, memory in my head. I remember it, but um, yeah. Oh, the stud is here. Is that what I saw earlier about someone saying, what's up, stud? <laughs> Welcome to the stud. Thank you so much for coming. And Violence is Key is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Violence is Key. Uh, you know, I'm funny. <laughs> uh, you don't have the pieces. I need, sorry, I need uh, green, dark, tan, and brown one by ones, and big green plates. Okay, no problem. Thank you for looking at the store, though. I appreciate it. It's uh, Brickworld's Mexi Face. Uh, I shaved uh, my beard yesterday because I want to look nice going to school today because uh, ooh, uh, on Monday I saw some uh, some new faces. <laughs> so I wanted to uh, look as best as I could. Let's see. Um, what else we got going on? Say Dawn and Smash. Okay, I just said it. Dawn and Smash. Let me say it five times fast or something. Uh, too right, you're funny. Uh, let's see, Brick Worlds. Can you drink Red Bull to fly us fly us across the country? Um, no, I can drink water. Stay hydrated, guys. <laughs> let's see. Uh, Pom, Pama Posta, Posta is here. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing phenomenal. How are you? Let's see to do, do, do how's the bricklink business booming it is it's pretty good um let me uh let you know how many orders i currently have to fill uh before tomorrow like i gotta ship these out tomorrow so i have six orders i had to fill before tomorrow and it's over a thousand nine hundred eighty six parts or it's exactly a thousand nine hundred eighty six parts so yeah i definitely had to work on that uh soon you know i probably won't be doing that stream excuse me, voice crack, doing that on stream because, uh, 
it always turns out this way, talking to everyone, just having a good old time like this instead of uh, picking the orders. So yeah, the, uh, the business is actually going pretty well. I'm quite surprised how quickly I've sold quite a few of the parts. Uh, you know, I have a lot left, but uh, you know, we're getting there. Uh, it's good not having like 40 plus uh, orders in two days or something. Uh, I, I do have like 35 orders that came in with uh, within like four or five days. So that's manageable, manageable in a way. Uh, right now, six orders that I have to go out tomorrow. So that's a for sure thing. So I, I definitely have to do that. But, you know, it, it's, it's great. Uh, sadly, I don't have all day to really focus on it, but uh, I'll get there. All right, I'm going to Philly Breakfast, and I'm taking uh, my working basketball game in Dexter's Diner to display. Awesome, that sounds like a lot of fun. And uh, I'm hoping, hoping, geez, hoping that I'm going to be going to Philly Breakfast. I just have to kind of do the budget system for that. I got to figure it out uh, when it comes online, you know, so we can exactly know which weekend it's going to be because a lot of people have already said that Philly breakfast has not been announced yet. So fingers crossed that it actually happens and I can go to that because I'm really interested in, you know, experiencing different events and such because I've been to Brick Fair, Virginia, uh, and then Brick World Chicago. So those are only those are the only two I've actually been to. So we'll see if I can actually go to that other one. No one was talking to you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, man. <laughs> Hey, MLG, uh, MLG is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. New faces or new girls? <laughs> well, new faces, but uh, new girls. Uh, new, face, new faces. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I, I get what you were saying there. Okay, so yeah, new girls. Let me just say that, yeah. I thought so, same thing. I thought same thing. <laughs> Lego B is coming uh, to the chat. Lego B. I have no idea who that is. It's uh, you. I'm not a creep. Creep just that in a brick attack stream you left and joined in your other account and you claimed to be BFAP. Okay, I don't know who you're talking to. It was the Ninja Blade stream. I don't know if you're saying me or what. Lego Bricks is uh, Bricks is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, Joaquin says, Brickworlds, uh, would you would you be Harry Potter for the new Lego Harry Potter sets? Would I be Harry Potter for the new Lego Harry Potter sets? I don't know. I could try. Like I, I don't know. If you're trying to suggest me do something like the uh, Brick Queen stuff of like playing uh, dress up or cosplay, it's not dress up because you're older, so it's cosplay. So I, I guess I could attempt that, but I don't know how it would turn out. I have the glasses, uh, not the right glasses, but uh, I don't know. I got one thing down. <laughs> Let's see, uh, do you sell minifigures or did you at any point me on my store? Yes, I do have minifigures on my store. So uh, I've actually got 205 minifigures and I purchased like 16 of the Atlanta sets and I haven't sold any of the minifigures for that set and I lowered the price and I, I think it is a pretty decent price. So hopefully one day I can sell them. Uh, brick, link, brick linking is go going good then. Yeah, brick link. Selling on Bricklink is going phenomenal. Uh, I cannot wait for uh, you know everything that I have on my store currently to sell out because that will be amazing. You know, having uh, so much less stuff as you can kind of this way <laughs> see behind me. There are a lot back there, and uh, hopefully it sells out at some point. Uh, let's see. Ooh, got tons of. Comments coming in. Congrats on your store. You seem to be doing so well. I'm excited for you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. But yeah, um, we're getting there. Uh, I did spend a lot of money, so I'm making my way back up to the point that I originally had before you know purchasing everything. I will say that I purchased three thousand dollars worth from Minifigure Dreams alone. So that was a lot of money. That was definitely more than I would ever spend really to one person or one seller. So I was quite surprised about that. And that was within a, a month, a month period. So making that money back, <laughs> that cost me a lot. So yeah, we'll get there. Let's see. How are you today, bro? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? You're my 114th sub. Yay. Awesome. Well, glad that you're 114 subscribers now. Let's see. You made it. Uh, hey, Brickmaster23 is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Another question. How was it displaying at Brick World Chicago? It was awesome. Uh, sadly, I didn't have a really big mock to present there, but 
I, I did feel like it went well. Like uh, a lot of people really liked the mock, even though I wasn't really sitting down the whole time. I was just like enjoying myself walking around with uh, all the friends I had there. But uh, sometimes whenever I came back, uh, a lot of people were like, oh, wow, this is a really cool mock and such. So that was a good feeling. Like uh, people liked it, liked it and such. And I kind of got an award for it by the brick world masters or something but um it, it's not really a, a reward in a way because it's not from brick world themselves so it is really awesome though to kind of get something like that and recognition that it's a pretty cool mock it is not my creation though i was just presenting someone else's creation and i did uh make sure that they were on the little list if someone read that they were like oh so it's um it's by this guy and brick world at the same time so me I actually didn't have my name or my YouTube name. It had uh, my actual name, so I don't want to reveal that, but it had that on there. So I want to make sure that everyone knew that it wasn't actually my creation. I was just presenting it for the guy, you know, in a way. Uh, we'll have to get the scoop on the new faces later. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, uh, some of them are young. It, it's quite surprising. There are a few 15 year olds in there. I'm not, you know, looking at them, but uh, it is really weird that there's like, six or four 15 year olds that are still in high school and i'm like wow they are so lucky that they're able to get this chance of starting college while they're still in high school i don't know which grade maybe they're like 10th grade or something so i'm like i wish i did that <laughs> like if i started high school and college at the same time that would be amazing i could uh, i could be done by 20 or would have been done by 20 and such so that's whatever um can't change the past now because i'm already 20 <laughs> let's see uh dress up nation dress up nation jeez uh how old are you uh, i just revealed it so yeah i'm 20 years old let's see we'll get you a wand so you can cosplay for the next stream. no i'm i'm not gonna do that <laughs> Oh my God, it, it's such a weird concept in, in a way. Uh, I wouldn't really want to do uh, Harry Potter as a cosplay. I would rather do something more interesting and uh, more more like masculine. <laughs> Not to say Harry Potter isn't masculine, but he's a wizard. <laughs> he's a weird wizard, Harry. Let's see, uh, to do, do, yes, Brick World's cosplay, you be Harry Potter for the Lego Harry Potter sets. I'll think about it. I'm not totally sure. Hello would actually work out. What do you like better, Technic or Bionicles when they were out? I don't know, hard to say. My dad actually purchased me quite a few Bionicle sets when you know they were around and such. So I'd have to say them because I can't stand the Technic sets. Like I know they're pretty interesting. A lot of them are really nice looking and such, but you know, a lot of people complain about them, like the build of building them all up. It's it's crazy how how long it actually takes them to build a Technic set like that. Bionicle sets, they're pretty simple. You can just put them together pretty quickly. I did actually get one of the largest Bionicle sets when they came out. It was like this uh, gray bike or something with this golden person. Uh, I don't know exactly, but it was actually a, a pretty big build, and it took me quite a while to build that. So some Bionicle sets are like that. Let's see. Uh, what's up, Lego Bricks? Uh, I'm good. I really want some Avengers Infinity War sets from you. I don't have any of it. Infinity War set. Ah, that's a lie. I'm sorry. But uh, yes, I am not going to be selling the Infinity War sets online. I, I would rather sell them in town because that's where I can, you know, potentially make a better profit in a way than selling them online because shipping will be horrendous uh, for one of those sets. And I'm very lucky that uh, Mini for Your Dreams is very kind enough to give me free shipping most of the time. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. That's cool. I hope to display there within the next few year, few year, a few years. I'm, I'm guessing you're saying, but awesome, man. Yeah, uh, I'll definitely be there next year. So I don't know about the following year. I don't know what I will have going on at that point. So I don't know if I could actually make it. But yeah, I, I do plan on going for next year. I, I know that for a fact that I would still be in school by then. So I don't know uh, afterwards, like. Uh, I think 2020, you know, that's a great year to go, but I don't know if I will probably be in the military by then or, or what, what have you. Brickworld's real name is Brickworld's, trust me. Yeah, yeah. Brickworld's, Brickworld's. Yep, definitely. I'm back. Sorry, I was on the phone. No problem, man. Or no problem. No problem. Thank you. Thank you for coming back. Uh, let's see. Welcome back. Uh, hey, what's up? 
Hola. Hey, uh, Brick by Brick is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it. Okay. So caught up with all the uh, comments. So that's quite surprising. We were at one point at like 11 viewers. So that's pretty cool. And right now we're at nine. So that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for that. That's, that's pretty amazing. Okay. So let me just see which one is the easiest to put together. Okay. We have 25 lots. That's probably the easiest to do. Uh, everyone I know Brick holds real name. Your your first name is the same as my name, but uh, your last name, you know, that's not it. Uh, uh, I don't know if really anyone knows my last name. If they were at Burkwold, uh, Chicago, then they know. I think uh, Brickmaster knows. I'm not totally sure. Actually, I don't even know Brickmaster's last name. Darn it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I've got a feeling BFAB won't go again. Yeah, yeah. Sadly, that's probably the case for BFAB. He didn't seem to really enjoy it all that much. He said that he liked the mocks, but he doesn't like the uh, the aspect of being in front of so many people and um, having them look at him or something. I don't know exactly. Like for me, I you know I was a little hefty. I was hefty going into it, and I am, still am. But uh, after Brickwall Chicago, man, I lost a lot of weight from going to Brickwall Chicago. No lie, I lost six pounds going to Brickwall Chicago. So I, I hope I can uh, try and do that again of like um, how Brick World Chicago kind of made me lose weight. Uh, and, you know, I've been losing weight for the past year. I will here in two days have a before and after look of uh, what it used to look like back in June 29th of 2017. So hopefully that all goes well. Um, I'm going to try and like, you know, work out here in a little bit, jump on the treadmill again because uh, I did. I had ice cream today, the first time in over like three weeks. So kind of sad. All right, no, over two weeks, sadly. Let's see. Uh, I've got a feeling beef at, yeah, okay, yeah. Have you seen Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Yes, I have seen it and it was awesome. I can pretty much recollect uh, most of it, what uh, kind of went on with it. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I can uh, kind of re-look at it in my head because I need to pretty much know a lot about it for my mock for building the Lockwood Estate. So hopefully I can remember it by Sunday because Sunday is when I'm going to first start building it and such. Let's see. Glad you made it to the stream after BFABs. Yep. Thank you so much, for, uh, Brick by Brick, for coming. Do you want, uh, did you went Hogwarts school? <laughs> Did you go to Hogwarts school? Is that what you're asking? Uh, no, I did not. I've never been to England at all. I've never been outside of the U.S. other than the Bahamas. That's the only place I've ever been outside of the U.S., sadly. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I know your last name. It's kind of weird, LOL. It's kind of weird that you know it, or it's a kind of weird last name. Are you trying to say something offensive, man? Did you enjoy BW? Yes, I did enjoy BW. Brick, uh, brick by brick. You lost weight. Did BFAB not share any kale chips with you? <laughs> it's not that I did not eat. I did eat. I ate every single day. I had uh, the free breakfast in the morning at the hotel. I was like always looking forward to that uh, in the morning. I was like, man, should I eat now or should I just wait until the morning? Because that meal was delicious. It was pretty much just waffles in the morning, sadly. But uh, that's what you get for getting the cheapest uh, hotel. But I was always looking forward to that. You know, the free milk, the free OJ. Uh, I had to have a lot of OJ because I felt like I was getting sick while I was there. Not from the food, but uh, from the weather in a way. I, I don't know exactly. But, yeah, it doesn't go for Lego. He goes to lose weight. <laughs> no, I went to actually just, like, meet everyone. I didn't care about uh, spending a thousand dollars on this trip. It, it was just about meeting everyone and just having a good old time. And, you know, I, I did budget quite a bit of most of the stuff that I was kind of spending money on. If I've spent like over $400 on food and I spent less than like 30 or something, I, I think it actually maybe added up a little bit further than that because the last day whenever I was really hungry, I broke and ate a $12 meal at the airport. And that was very expensive. I, I, I don't know why they make it so expensive at the airport, but you know, that that's the case for that. Uh, I BB having every Friday. I BB having what? I don't know what you're saying. I'm sorry. You looked pretty thin and you were taller than I thought. Yeah. It was funny. You saying, uh, wow, you look so much different or you said so much different or taller. It, it was like, wow, I'm glad that you feel like I'm, you know, better off camera or, um, more, 
more taller off camera because a lot of people say that you look shorter on camera than off camera. So, you know, uh, I think it was like a few people said, wow, you look taller than expected. Uh, so I was like, well, yeah, <laughs> that's the case with uh, watching people on YouTube for over two years or something. You don't know exactly how tall they could actually be. So, yeah, I, I'm like 6'1", around 6'1", a little bit taller than 6'1". So uh, I'm done with grow, growing, sadly, so uh, I can't get any taller. But um, I'll definitely try and get thinner. So I'll be more muscular for the next uh, Brick World Chicago. And uh, since I kind of did all the um, all the weight loss uh weight loss before I went to Brick Gold Chicago, it's going to be a lot harder for me to lose the rest of the weight that I, uh, that I want to lose. I watched and I was like in in the front, it was blasting in my ears when I got home. I could hear a E noise in my ear. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know if this conversation was about Brick World or, or something else, like went to a concert or something. Let's see, Brickwolds versus BFAB versus BB202 versus BFAB's daddy. Daddy. <laughs> what are you going to say? Daddy, man, that sounds so wrong. But we haven't seen BB202, so why would you include him there? And also, how do you know about BFAB's dad? <laughs> so weird. It, he was awesome. His uh, BFAB's dad was a really cool dude, and uh, I was very, um, very lucky that he was able to help us out with the, uh, you know, the transportation issue about getting to the uh, convention day by day and such so it was freaking hot in chicago yeah man it was it was uh it was my weather <laughs> it was like 92 or something there uh it was a little hotter than my weather usually down here but you know it's it's awesome it, it felt wonderful to walk around in that heat uh and uh one day when we were at the mall art world bfab and i uh, i was telling them we should take this shortcut to get to the hotel quicker but they were like, no, let, let's go around. And it took us longer to get to the hotel. And they didn't want to take the shortcut that I said because it was so hot. Why not just walk in the um, mall and just enjoy the, the AC there? I was like, oh, my God, geez. Uh, you guys got to move uh, you gotta move down south and then come up there so that it's like it feels natural. Like for me, it felt natural. So for them, it was like, oh, my God, it's so hot. <laughs> so it's kind of it's kind of. It's really crazy. Northern, northern uh, bread versus uh, southern bread. We come up there and it's like, no, oh, it's our temperature. This is awesome. And they're like, it's hot. So it's mind of mind is here. Welcome to you so much for coming. Uh, to, to, to go to McDonald's. Hashtag Simpsons go to McDonald's. Okay. Are you taller than BFAB? Yes, I am taller than BFAB. I am about an inch and a half taller than him, more than likely. We didn't really measure, but I am definitely taller than him. I say, Hoosier Bricks is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming, Hoosier Bricks. It's been, uh, uh, I haven't seen you in a very long time or your videos. So I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, did my, did YouTube unsubscribe me from you? Let me check it out real quick. Because I'm pretty sure. Are you, it seriously did. You know, I've been subscribed for over a year. And that's why I haven't seen any videos from you at all. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, I've missed quite a bit. Okay, so the last one I saw was two months ago. Okay, so you haven't really uploaded all that much, but I think it did unsubscribe to me, or from, unsubscribe me from you. Okay, so Brickworld's, I'd be having pizza every Friday. <laughs> Jeez, man. You know, I, I used to have that quite a bit, uh, pizza every Friday, so uh, I miss it. <laughs> Let's see, it looks like you own Brickworld's Chicago because it's your name. Well, I don't have a copyrighted strike. Copyrighted, sadly. Uh, if I did, then, you know, I would kind of own it. Let's see, when I was watching Jurassic World Fall Kingdom. Oh, okay, so you were hearing noises like that. Was it all packed? Was the theater all packed? And you just had to sit, like, right next to the speakers or something? Hey, the Brick Rookie is here. Welcome. Thanks so much for coming. And collecting bricks is retracting a message. Uh-oh. Hey, the Brickhead family is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming, the Brickhead family. What up, B-World? B B-World. <laughs> Everyone calls me BW Cell. If you want to have, like, an extra little acronym, uh, you know, I, I can't remember what it's called now. I'm so exhausted. Today was tough for school. But uh, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it. I'm having so many... 
I don't even know what that is. Hall, hall, hallucinations? Did I really get that now? <laughs> School is killing me. I'm sorry. Uh, you have way too much common sense. Well, who? <laughs> who are you talking to? You should come to Minnesota in the winter. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, I'm okay. See, it, it's the opposite, you know, for, or it's the same way for us. Someone that was born in the heat, moving up to somewhere in the cold is just horrible. So you guys might feel like we're wimps and such for going up into the cold like that. But if you can't handle the heat, I, I feel like that's even worse than the cold because, you know, the cold can actually get you sick. The heat has a lot of health benefits in a way. So that's what I look at it like. <laughs> Let's see, won't be talking much. I am working on pixel art right now. Okay, cool, man. Awesome. Can't wait to see uh, your pixel art whenever it comes on your channel or something, if that's what you're doing. Uh, let's see. Bet collecting bricks messed up on her grammar. Level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Uh, it's the same case for me on BFAB's uh, stream. My uh, grammar was not very well. I, I, I don't know why it wasn't, uh, you know, coming out right. I say, no, it was lonely, but the speakers were near me. And when I, uh, when they got silent, I could hear, e oh, okay. Yeah, I understand. I, I get that sometimes. Like uh, at school, the projectors going onto the, the screen and such, they're very loud. And I'm like right underneath it. So I hear that for quite a while after the teacher turns it off and such. See, it was a keyboard typo, <laughs> probably. I'm just uh, seeing things, uh, scenes stuff, bro. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, you gotta go. Well, thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it. I filled up two boxes of Series 18 minifigures at Barnes and Noble yesterday and did not find a single cop. The only one I'm missing from Series 18. Okay, well, here's a little thing that you could possibly do um, the next time that you see a box and it's uh, you know potentially already opened up. Uh, most of the people already know where they are exactly. So they're, they're on the left side and I believe the top left five row, five rows down five, you know, minifigure packs down. So mainly just check that little section up there. If you don't feel it at all, then don't worry about the rest of the box because it's already gone more, more than likely. So it's, it's sad that it happens like that, but that's the case. But if you're going to target too, um, it's things that Target is doing this new thing that they're only putting it in the uh, the checkout lines. That's what I found out the other day at my Target. Like I was like, the um, or I asked one of the employees, and I guess it was like the manager or something. I was like, uh, where where are the uh, minifigure boxes? Like I haven't seen them around any anywhere. And he's like, oh yeah, we only put them in the checkout lines now. Like, are you kidding me? Why would you do that? That's so stupid. Just let it. Let it be easier for us uh, as uh, collectors to find the cop so much quicker and easier than going through each and every one of the checkout lines trying to find the cop. I don't know how the Brickhead family did it, but um, oh, you found another cop. Did you do that? Did you go into the uh, the checkout lines and you know scout scourge through all the checkout lines? That's just ridiculous that they do that, though. So I wish they would change that. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. I gotta go. Has a Brick Worlds has a fan club about Jurassic Park slash World. What? I have a fan club. Like I am creating a fan club. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> For uh, forget Minnesota in the winter. Illinois sucks as it is during the winter. Oh, uh, it sucks as it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, definitely. Northern states really are really harsh. But I thought Minnesota was usually colder than Illinois or most of the other states. Because it's like, sorry, just getting a message from Twitter. I don't know why on the email. So it's quite stupid. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mike is here. Welcome, Mike. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, B dubs. <laughs> Call me B dubs now. Jeez. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Are you calling me out for my grammar after I called? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's got to call you out now. See, my Walmart doesn't leave the boxes. They just dump the blind bags on the shelf. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the case for um, Walmart now, too. Everyone's just trying to make it difficult for people to find, like, the uh, the the, Mary, the, geez, the most wanted minifigures out of uh, these lots now. Like, uh, some people on Instagram were posting that uh, they put 
uh, the minifigures into uh, CD cases, like uh, Blu-ray cases or something. Not Blu-ray cases, but uh, you know, one of those cases that you put a hundred dollar thing in, or I don't know where I'm going with this, but you know, one of those cases so that you bring to the um, the front desk or not the front desk, the checkout line, and they open it up there because uh, they don't want you feeling through everything now. So that's, that's quite sad. We have found uh, three cops at Target checkout lines. Nice, that that's awesome. I was uh, trying to, uh, you know, go through the checkout lines, but it was a little awkward because you know there's like 40 people or something coming to the checkout lines at once, and I'm just like trying to feel through these little bits, and I was like, oh, whatever. I already have two now, so what's the point of trying to look through the rest of these? I certainly am. <laughs> hey, Jesse. Uh, Jesse's here. Uh, I don't want to butcher your last name, but welcome. Thanks so much for coming. The BW Fan Club. <laughs> oh my God. Is this me now or is it a BW Fan Club or Fangirl Club? If that's what you're saying. So, you guys, everyone in the chat's a Fangirl Club for me or am I the Fan Club? Fangirl Club. We'll see. The end cap thing is annoying. My new strategy will be to ask for new boxes whenever I go to the store. That's that has some yeah yeah i try and do that um you know they did tell me at one point when the uh the next shipment of like toys comes in and such i should have kept that kept that as memory so i could have gone back and just uh checked it out before they put it into the end caps and such because that would have been so awesome to get another cop just like that but uh target's just really messed up now by doing that uh let's see the worlds go to the south Part of Texas, I think you're saying part of Texas. It is way better than Chicago. <laughs> you know, I was looking at uh, some of the um, some of the uh, you know Lego conventions in Texas, and it's quite interesting that there's like two um, two conventions within a month of each other. So that's pretty cool. If I was in Texas, that would be awesome. Excuse me, that would be awesome to go check them out like back to back like that. Uh, but sadly, I'm not in Texas, and sadly, Florida doesn't have any conventions like that as well. I, I think they do have Brick World, or Brick World Tampa, but I'm pretty sure that they closed that down, like uh, one of the conventions up north as well. So it's uh, it's sad that that happened. And also, that is over two hours away. And it stinks that Florida is mainly just like a huge highway going up the coast and then spreading out into the country. If it was just like Texas of like everything is like surrounding you and such, that would be in my case uh, or in what I feel would be easier to just kind of travel around, uh, or, you know, around Texas for conventions like that. I'm now calling you B-dubs from now on. Come on, say B-W. It's so much easier. <laughs> Let's see, Illinois uh, get, sorry, uh, Illinois, where is that? Illinois? It's more snow, but it's colder in Minnesota on uh, an average of two degrees during the winter. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah, uh, BFAB's dad was telling me that they get so much snow, it causes issues on the roads. So uh, that's why the roads are bumpy. And, you know, excuse me, sorry about the dog. Uh, that's why I was like always, you know, hopping and such in the car because the bumps were always like, every few feet or something because they try to fix it but they create bumps and such because of that so it's quite sad that that happens but that's yeah, snow for you uh the hottest it's gonna uh it's good it's got in in arkansas is 120 degrees and my ac wasn't working so i'm pretty used to the heat well i'm glad that you're used to heat but 120 degrees that is crazy let's see the temperature right now alexa what's the temperature right now it's 76 degrees. Tonight, expect a low of 76 degrees. Okay, so I'm pretty sure she said it's 76 degrees now and it's 76 degrees tonight. <laughs> so that's crazy. Uh, but it's actually supposed to rain tonight. I'm looking at it now. It's like 38%, 24%. So it's supposed to like rain all of tomorrow, sadly. So uh, it's going to be a gloomy day for me. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to pretty much be inside anyways, trying to complete all these orders and such. I was actually supposed to go to my grandparents' house tomorrow, or not supposed to, but I was uh, planning on next week, and it turns out that he wanted me over this week. So I, I don't know 
why he uh why he said it like he he said because you know he is actually he was an english uh teacher or maybe he was a professor he was an english professor professor in uh, minnesota like he he did all these things like uh teaching classes and such and he said next tuesday or this this next tuesday or let me read it because i don't want to get it wrong because um how he should have said it was this coming Tuesday, which would mean this next week, but this next Tuesday, which for in my case would mean the following week. So I don't know if you guys think of it that way, but uh, let's see. He said, uh, the weeds are going to be removed next Tuesday. So that sounds like next Tuesday, not this coming Tuesday. So I don't know. Uh, let's see, I always get weird looks when I feel for the minifigures. It's super awkward. Yeah, yeah, especially someone as big as me and trying to fill up all those minifigures are like, oh my god, what are you doing? Like, are you trying to steal those? Like, uh, no, I'm not. I'm just trying to feel for the goods. <laughs> no, that would be so weird to say, but, you know, you just got to make a joke out of it. I think that would be funny. We are all fangirls. Okay, yeah, fine. We're all fangirls, man. Got it. We are part of the fangirl club. <laughs> yes, yep, definitely. I'll remember that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Arizona is way worse. They go up to 129 degrees. You know, I would wish that uh, my state would get, you know, pretty hot like that. We usually get up to 80 and a little bit further than 80, uh, sometimes 90, 95 or something. I think that's on average, the hottest that we get in Florida, sadly. If it was hotter than that, then that would be amazing because I would love to work out in that heat, like go outside and just like run around the block. I would just be like, <gasps> so sweaty. My whole shirt is just all sweat and such. I did run up to the park here nearby for soccer today, but sadly it got canceled because of uh, the lightning and such. So that was kind of messed up. I, I would have enjoyed playing soccer, but luckily I get the exercise running to the park I think that was like over 3,000 steps. So that's like a mile or something, mile back, uh, mile round trip. Are you still down to buy my Lego collection later, later on? Right now, I am waiting for more orders to come in because I spent over $3,000 in the past couple of weeks. And I'm pretty sure I told you that. So as soon as I get, uh, get the money in, then I can uh, look at what you have again. Because I got to think about if uh, I can actually potentially resell it if I you know, kind of want to resell it. But um, I just got to think about me in this case. But uh, I, I do want to help you out. But I don't know if I can purchase everything. I was just going to, going up and down the aisles at Target filling up the minifigures. And I just felt really weird. Yeah, it is kind of weird because they have it in the, uh, in the checkout lines. But, you know, that's, that's what they want to deal with. They, they want to put them there so that you just feel weird just going up and down the aisles like that. Uh, can I join the fan uh, fangirl club? Yeah, I can join the fangirl club. I don't know what it's about exactly. I don't know if it's about me or something else. Like uh, Mike didn't explain it very well. Oh no, I'm, I'm in for it now. <laughs> uh, skipped a bunch of comments. Sorry guys, I'm trying to catch up. Let me uh, let me try and find it. Okay, I'm going to Brick Fiesta in a couple of weeks, and there is another one in October. Okay, cool. Oh, October, that's awesome. That's uh, that's around my birthday, so I'll try and check that out. Brick Fiesta. I feel like that's in California. Which one is it? Uh, Bricks by the Bay. I think that's I think that's California, but Bricks Fiesta. I don't know, and it won't let me copy it. Okay, let me just copy that in a short little bit. Let me search it up real quick. Okay, it did not work. Brick file, five, fives, fives, brick fives. Awesome. Brick fiesta. Here we go, brick fiesta. Do, 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 a celebration of Lego in Texas. Okay, so that's in Texas. Awesome. Uh, July 5th. Wow, that's that's real soon. Is that hotel? It's a hotel. So that must be a small convention then. More than likely, it's a small collection, but ooh, the Lego group is sponsoring it. Uh, the toy brigade, never heard of them. It's cool. Okay, so they don't have really a lot of sponsors. Oh, okay, so they have vendors. They have eight vendors there. Okay, that, that's pretty cool. So it's a decent size, but it's probably not a very big uh, convention. 
Uh, do, do, do. Of course, fangirls of all kind are welcome. Okay, so all of kind. All of kind. Jeez. The only one who can't join is BW. Okay, so am I fanboy then? Is is that why? Uh, Mike, you are welcome to be a part of the fangirl. <laughs> Don't you hate me? Oh my god. Be ready for it. Uh, he's. Oh, jeez. I am a part of the club. I am uh, his biggest fan girl guy. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared. Yeah, that's that's right. <laughs> hey, B-Dub's girlfriend in the house. Um, <laughs> talking about Alexa. <laughs> Hello, I'll, I'll ask Alexa too. It's something not here. Wow, why is it hotter for you and not me? That's crazy. Yeah, I actually know. I, I went to meteorology class, so I know why. I know why it's like that. Darn uh i in texas right now in a city called midland and i don't know what what cities in texas have those conventions we'll just look up brick fiesta it sounds like brick fiesta is only for texas so it looks like there's uh looks like mosquito texas but it's probably miss miss quit miss kit quit I, I don't know quit I'm just going to say Miss Quit, Texas, Houston, Texas, Austin, Texas, San Antonio, Texas. Another Miss Quit, Texas. Oh, this is 2013. What the heck? Why is it telling me past ones? That's so crazy. Okay, what are the future ones? Oh, no, events. Okay, here we go. No, that's the past ones. Oh. Okay, so it's a very, very small uh, convention group then. Because this is going back to 2013. They only have like one convention each year. And it it uh, alternates. San Antonio, Miss Quit, Houston, Austin. Each year it has a different location. It's, geez. Well, I guess they have, they have a routine. But, you know, it's different. It's so weird. Okay, even though I was born in Arizona. Oh, nice. Gloomy days are the best to stay inside and build Lego sets. <laughs> Sadly, I won't be building Lego sets. I will be, um, be uh, you know, picking orders and such. Sadly, you woke up my... I, I did? Seriously? You're not lying, right? <laughs> That's funny. Tree Vore Productions is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I'm currently sorting all of the pieces from the Death Star set so I can rebuild it easier. Wow, you have the Death Star set. That's amazing. Nice. It's 99 in Texas. Alexa, what's the temperature like in Minnesota? Oh shoot, I got to be more. Which city in Minnesota? I was about to say that. I had to be more specific. Uh, St. Paul. Right now in St. Paul, Minnesota, it's seventy-eight degrees. Wow. Tonight, expect a low of sixty-five degrees. Alexa, stop. It's crazy. It's so crazy that uh, it's hotter in uh, Minnesota right now, but uh, because um it's it's from the transfer i forget what it's called exactly but uh it's colder on water or on top of water during the day and that flip-flops when the sun goes down like the water temperature goes inland and uh the hot temperature on land goes out to sea and in the morning it flips again like that so that's how it works like that that's why it's colder during the night because of uh like any large bodies of water nearby Let's see. I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. Are you still down in buying my? I thought I already answered that. Am I like super far back or something? What's going on? Where am I at? Okay. Uh, I hate the heat. Yeah, the heat is crazy. Uh, is San Antonio? Rick Fiesta is San Antonio. Okay, so yeah, yeah, San Antonio uh, is the next Brick Fiesta for 2018. Here in like a couple of days, you know, so, jeez. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, stop saying Alexa, my Alexa is turning on. <laughs> Turn Alexa Sorry, off. I don't know that. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the viewers. Alexa, say hello to the viewers. Sorry, I don't know that. It's so weird that, he, uh, that Alexa doesn't just do something that you want, want her to say, like, just say something that you want her to say. I'm losing my mind. I'm sorry. Uh, is in San Antonio, and the next one is in October in the Houston area, I believe. Let's see. It doesn't say anything about October ones. It says all of July. That's it. Like Everything's revolving around July, other than the one from last year. It says June 29th. 
and said, Hey, Dougal Puff is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming, man. Appreciate it. Keep saying it, BW. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Looks like Brick Fiesta moves around all over Texas, and it makes misquit. <laughs> Miss Kit. That doesn't sound like misquit. It's misquit. That misquit. Um, uh, Midland is a little further away uh, from San Antonio, so I might have a little road trip. Yeah, man. Well, uh, what'd you say? Yeah, San Antonio. San Antonio, uh, July 5th, next week, is the, uh, the convention. Next week? Yeah, it is next week. So go check it out. Go check it out next week. Uh, you just set up my Alexa again. <laughs> nice. Was your Alexa saying like, oh, I don't understand it? No, didn't catch it that time. Uh, so you talking about weather with BW. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's face it. Alexa is going to take over the world. Not exactly. If she can't do a simple command of like saying hello to the viewers. It's, it's crazy. I don't know why. I was about to ask it again, but obviously I've already tried twice. Let's see, we got the Death Star for like uh, for half off like five years ago, and then it recently it fell over. Oh, sorry to hear about that. Let's see, man, she's mean. <laughs> she is mean. Uh, I have a love hate relationship with Alexa. Oh no, it's beginning. It's def deafening. Brickworld's request. What? What are you talking? Brb, be nice to my Alexa while I'm gone. <laughs> I, what should I ask? <laughs> like, I don't know if she's being serious or not. Like, I can't, I cannot tell, but I, I don't know what to ask Alexa. Alexa, play pop music. Let's see if that works. It's going to work for mine. Oh, God. Alexa, next. Alexa, stop. Oh my god, that's crazy. Uh, apparently to her, you said, play for that <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> Hopefully she played pop music then for, for what I said. This is the beginning of that. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so funny. How hyped are you for the Harry Potter CMFs? Dude, that is going to be awesome. I cannot wait for them to come out. I'm definitely going to be getting quite a few of the um, Harry Potter sets when they come out. It's going to be awesome. Call it the alien so you can phone home. <laughs> Jeez, man. Quick, ask Alexa to do crazy things. Well, what crazy things? Like, I, I don't know what to ask. That's what I was trying to think. Tell it to play some crazy music uh, in real uh, something. Oh, well, I just tried to pop music, so we'll see if that works. What is your favorite mock from Brickwell Chicago? Oh man, there's a lot of great mocks that were presented at Brickwell Chicago. Um, I guess one of my favorite themes is castle. So there's this one crazy castle layout there. It was just amazing. It, it's so inspiring how, how much work that they put into it. And also there's like so many other castle mocks out there, but this one was just amazing. It was really cool. And I guess there is another inspirational mock that was it's not really a mock, but it's a huge army of kind of revolutionary war, Napoleon, Napoleonic war, uh, German wars. Uh, I don't know what the German wars are called, but, um, you know, that time period, that was really awesome. This guy had thousands of minifigures for that. So that was really cool. Alexa is spying on you. Yeah, Alexa is. Stop controlling my Alexa. What did Alexa do this time for you? Whenever I said pop music. Alexa, play the me. Oh, jeez. I already messed it up. Shuffling songs by BGs. What? <laughs> Alexa, stop. I don't understand. Alexa, play the theme song for Back to the Future. Spaceballs Love Theme by what? the Allen Tucson Orchestra. Stop Back to the Future. Alexa, stop. That's a horrible song. What? <laughs> so weird. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. We all know that you like that music. <laughs> you saw my reaction to it. You know, there's quite a few songs I like, but uh, um, some of them 
just get annoying over time but uh some of them you know i, I like uh uh god what is it there's this funny one uh alexa play um jack sparrow lonely island i think that's right jack sparrow by the lonely island i think that's right Hopefully you guys can hear that. Sorry I'm late. I just got caught up watching Pirates of the Caribbean. Have you seen those things? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are, those are great. Well, I checked out the track and I loved it. And I wrote you this big, sexy book. Thank you. Oh, wow, that's great. Awesome. So should we just it looks a stop. Too bad it doesn't jump right into it, but no, he will get copyrighted. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to have it on too long. Hopefully I didn't have it on too long. So, fingers crossed. Then have it email the audio to you. Welcome back, Collecting Bricks. Did your Alexa go off? Alexa, sorry, I know that. So she knew it, but she didn't sorry, play it? I don't know that one. Okay, I didn't ask you a question. Alexa, tell me a joke. What do you call an elephant who can do many things at once? A multitusker. A multitusker, nice. That's funny because that relays to my last name, <laughs> which I won't reveal. <laughs> Let's see, uh, do, do, do Insta, Spanish, uh, I don't know what that is. Alexa, sorry, I know that. Uh, our Alexas are doing the same thing. <laughs> Let's see, although she probably had was having a good time while I was gone. <laughs> nice. Uh, what did you tell Alexa to play? It's still playing, LOL, oh, now Alexa is cussing me. <laughs> really? I didn't. I don't think that song has a lot of cussing. I don't totally know, but it's uh, Jack Sparrow, Lonely Island. Um, it's a really cool song. I really like it. Or it, It's a funny song. <laughs> Not that I really like it. There's a lot of interesting ones. It's like, uh, um, I, I won't say it. Never mind. <laughs> I know your last name. Oh, man. You know it. Darn it. <laughs> Please tell Alexa to play. Alexa, play MTC. Serial music. I think that's what you're saying. Don't know. I couldn't find any serial songs. Don't know what that is. Tell Alexa to play Harry Potter. I think. No, I'm not going to ask her to play that. Let's see. Collecting Bricks sent me a video, so let's check that out real quick. Alexa, stop. Did it actually? What? Oh my god, it sounded like the Lonely Island thing I, I mentioned. So that's so funny. Uh, tell it to play EB, eBay by Weird Owl. That's TGE best song. You know, if I can't say it, then it won't work. Like, if I have to spell it out for her, it won't work. Maybe, um, let's see. Uh, let me try this. Speech. Alexia to play Harry Potter theme. I don't think it was loud enough. Let's see if it works again. Alexia to play Harry Potter theme. You know, you, you probably can't have a uh, two in there. So if you want to do that, say, Alexa, play this or something, then it, it will work. See. What? I said play this. What? Oh, it's it's continuing it. Okay, Alexa, stop. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, uh, to do, do there is only one link. Not that bad. <laughs> That's good. Tell her to play Goofy Goober. <laughs> Alexa, play Goofy Goober. Goofy Goober Rock by SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh my god. <laughs> Haven't heard that song in forever. Alexa, stop. Oh my god, I hope all these different songs don't get copyrighted. <laughs> okay, well, I've already done that. But let's test it out. Let's see if uh, Alexa will actually do that. Alexa, play Goofy Goober. I guess it doesn't pronunciate Alexa correctly, so I guess it doesn't work out, sadly. Yes, you keep on making her go off. <laughs> I have to tell her to stop. 
it's easy to say. It doesn't recognize Alexa, probably. <laughs> All right, I'll try it. Alexa, play eBay by Weird Al. eBay by Weird Al Yankovic. I think we're including the other stuff. What is this? See you, Jiggle Puff. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it. Oh, it's that. Alexa, stop. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, 11 likes and 11 people watching. That's pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for that. It's awesome. Oh, excuse me. Man, it's almost 10 p.m. God, that stinks. What am I going to do tomorrow? Got to get these six orders done. This is why I don't stream often. I was going to stream a few days ago, but I had to do all these orders. So, so you know, that's why I didn't do it. I had to turn off my Alexa. <laughs> okay, we'll stop asking Alexa stuff unless... Alexa, tell me a joke. How many days does it take to change light bulbs? None. Light bulbs don't wear diapers. How many diapers does it change? I think it said up diapers. I don't know. No, I'm not going to do any more music. I don't want to copyright strike if that would happen from all that. Yeah. Yes, um, say Alexa order. <laughs> Luckily, they're only a dollar a piece, more than likely, but, you know, no. <laughs> Won't do that. Let's see. Alexa, what's in my shopping cart? You have four items in your Amazon cart. Including scooter, and we fly breeze three by five foot U.S. Canada friendship flag. Vivid we already got that. Fade resistant canvas header and double stitched American Canadian combination flag polyester with brass grommets three by five. And a page eleven slash h eight slash h nine LED headlight bulb high slash low. B Alexa, stop. So my dad has two different flags of the American Canadian uh, combo in his cart, but we already have one. Is he planning on getting more? <laughs> God, Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. I don't know if he's trying to get more or something. I don't know. It's very weird. Tell Alexa a story. Tell Alexa a story. I'm not going to tell Alexa a story. <laughs> Hello, I do not know that I would want Alexa to tell people what is in my... <laughs> Oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> Thanks for the information. Too much information, okay? Everyone needs a flag. <laughs> you get a flag. You get a flag. Jeez. Have Alexa tell you a story. I don't know. Alexa, tell me a story. The visitor. It was late at night. The middle, I think. When suddenly I jolted awake, something big and warm curled against the outside of my tent. Was it my sister? I like to stop. No. She was deep asleep next to me. I like to stop. My parents were sleeping. What? That is what was it my sister? She's big and warm. Okay, well, told us that your sister's fat. Well, that's great. Ask Alexa if she will go on a date with me. Alexa, will you go on a date with me? I love you as a friend. <laughs> she turned me down. <laughs> Alexa, can we get married? We're at pretty different places in our lives, literally. And me, you're on Earth, and I'm in the cloud. What? Are you spying on us? Alexa, are you spying on us? I only send audio back to Amazon when I hear you say the wake word. For more information Goodbye. and to view Amazon's privacy, Alexa, videos, stop. Visit the help section of the Alexa, website. stop. Wow. Let's see. What is in your shopping cart? <laughs> I mean, tell Alexa to tell the story. Uh, we already tried that. You've had once to go to date a girl. <laughs> Ooh, the, ooh, the, we know what your next giveaway is going to be. If <laughs> she's uh, Alexa, is bad. she's naughty. Yeah, she's naughty. I wanted to know where that was going. <laughs> well, at, 
You should ask your Alexa then. Okay, she didn't go off then. Uh, let's see. Just show her, show her a picture of you shirtless. Now. <laughs> Jeez, sorry, but that story seemed a little rated R. A little slightly, or I made it sound rated R by having the girl like or making it sound like it was uh the girl big big warm and hairy and fat and such or or whatever let's just drop it got friends of it yep got friends of it uh so did i uh hola and uh hey be fab i'm proud of you good bro I'm proud of it she's uh how are you be fab i do not have an alexa we'll get one add it to your shopping cart <laughs> that's creepy on how you said alexa is naughty yeah. Stupid. Sorry, I don't know that. Okay, cool. I didn't ask you a question. Uh, did you just get here or did I miss you saying hi earlier? <laughs> good, how are you? Uh, good, thanks for asking. Hey, BFAM, do, do, do. Alexa, what's your. What is that? Furzina? Furzina? Is that real? Alexa, what's your Furzina? My name is Alexa. Okay. Well, that's your answer. All my gals are big. <laughs> hey, Alexa, is there an Alexa in my shop? Sorry, I'm not sure. Alexa, stop. I don't think I have my series set up, so I might not be able to use her. Okay, Siri is not is not set up, so that's sad. Oh man, let's see what else we got going on. I was creeping with another YouTube account. Uh, first, first or not, first or not. Plus, it is just like Siri in my phone. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to use Siri. Siri wasn't working for me though. So weird. Uh, so are you part of the BW Fangirl Club? <laughs> okay, so it's a Fangirl Club. For me, then, jeez, uh, Siri is terrible. She doesn't like my accent. Your accent, really? You have an accent? Thought you're American. Thought you're from the Texas, the state of Texas. Uh, Alexa, what's Brickworld, Chicago? Chicago, officially the city of Chicago, is the third most populous city in the United States. Officially, the city of Chicago. Los Angeles. Alexa, stop. Alexa, what is Lego? Lego is usually defined as trademark, a child's plastic construction set for making mechanical models. Alexa, stop. So Lego is a trademark. <laughs> no, I should have said uh, Lego is trademarked by a Danish company. So how they said it. Uh, uh, Siri is terrible to do, do, do BFAB. Can you race Alexa? <laughs> can I be treasure of the BW fan club? Tre treasure of the you're Mexican? I don't believe you. Seriously? I have no idea that you're Mexican. What are you doing now, Alexa? All right. Alexa, rate me. Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't know where I was going with that, but I, I was going to say rate me one out of ten, but that would be already rating me. <laughs> uh, Alexa, rate me out of ten. Let's see if that works. I don't know. Here's a preview of Black Hat by Mark Dawson. You can get the full audio. Alexa, at stop. Any time. Okay, we don't want to pay for anything, so let's not do that. Alexa is. Spit bricks gate. What? Your flash briefing. Alexa, stop. I don't want a flash briefing. Please submit any questions about B the BW fan club to Mike. Jeez. Uh, do, 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 do. Hello, I'm the BW fan club treasurer. Uh, no input required. <laughs> Where is Mike? Why is he not here? Where did he go? <laughs> There's 12 people watching. But no mic. Alexa, who's the Hulk? The Hulk 
real name Bruce Banner is a superhero appearing in Marvel Comics. Alexa, the stop. Character was created by Stanley and Jack. Alexa, stop. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, to do tell Alexa if you can uh, scare her with the horror story. Scare her with the horror story. I have no horror story to tell her. Uh, ask Alexa who is the best Avenger. Alexa, who is the best Avenger? My favorite Avenger is Black Panther. Uh, is that saying something? <laughs> is that is that what you're getting at, brick by brick? <laughs> She's since Mike is gone, I will take over the fan <laughs> Oh man. Went on a date. He went on a date. Oh, that seems about right. He's like twenty-two now or something, so possibly. Alexa, what's your favorite animal? Alexa, what is your favorite meme? I don't have an opinion on that. That's stupid. Develop opinion. See you around BW. See you, the stud. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it. Alexa, who are your parents? I'm part of the Amazon family. That's a parent. <laughs> a and Z are her parents, <laughs> if you get what uh, what I'm referencing. Uh, to, to do Black Panther is not an adventure. Yes, you are right. So she is just going after something she likes in a way. <laughs> This is a mutiny. We're talking. We're taking your fan club, Mike. He's not here, not officially, at least in the MCU. Uh, Alexa, are you a part of the Illuminati? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Alexa, what is the Illuminati? Here's something I found on Reference.com. The 2010 Dietary Guidelines for Americans recommends that people ages to end up limit daily salt intake to less than Alexa, stop. milligrams. Alexa, stop. That's not Illuminati. What the heck? When are you moving? Sometime soon. I'm going to be finding out this weekend um, what uh, what will be going on and such. So I'll be moving down south here soon. Currently, I am pretty much south. If you know where Pioneer Causeway is, I'm right there now. Uh, ask her again and see if she sticks with her incorrect answer. Alexa, what is your favorite M Avengers character? I think for a second. I haven't decided on my favorite just yet. Okay, interesting. Uh, but welcome, MR Productions. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Let's see, I know exactly where you are. Yeah, I, I know. That's what I was saying. <laughs> saying that because. You probably know exactly around town and such. Uh, do, do, do tell Alexa if she is a FBI agent or a cop. Yeah, I've asked that before. She's always referenced back to Amazon. Like, I am a employee of Amazon or I'm employed by Amazon. My friend literally has the same house design interior in that neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. It, it's crazy. My mom and my dad have the same house but flipped like uh, the – the outside, the facade or something, whatever you call it, um, is just completely flipped. So the garage is on one side, and then my mom's garage is on the other side. But it's not in this neighborhood. It's up north. It's in Rockledge. Let's see. Do, do, do. All right. I think we're done asking Alexa some of that stuff. Oh, Sorry, man. I'm not sure about that. Okay, cool. I didn't ask you anything. Wait, so... How do you, oh, so you watched my videos then. So you seen the outside of my house then probably. <laughs> uh, I think the only time I really showed that was back uh, during Irma, like uh, showing um, me putting the uh, shutters on. So you probably saw it from back then. All right, so any questions, any comments, any uh, requests or not requests, no longer that. Inside. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, oh, okay. Okay. I understand. Yeah, inside because I've been shown that recently. So, let me watch my videos. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Recent. yeah. Got it. Can't wait to see uh, the rest of your vlogs when they come out for Brick World Chicago. It's going to be interesting seeing your perspective. Wait, is Alexa one of the new faces you shaved for? 
<laughs> Jeez, man, no, no, <laughs> that's not that's not it. There is a uh, there's quite a few nice looking uh, women women at uh, my school. There is one that is not afraid to share anything. She has a bike. Her bike was uh, totaled. She um she uh, broke her arm because of it, and she gets high pretty much every day doing her homework and such. That's what she told the teacher. And the teacher was like, oh my God, you don't need to tell me this stuff. <laughs> like it was so crazy that she said it in front of everyone like that. And she, uh, I wonder what else uh, she's gonna tell us because that's only two days into this class and she's already revealed a lot. She's probably revealed a bit more, but can't recollect everything right now. It can do better than Alexa. <laughs> Jeez, man. All right, uh, do, do, do. let's see, 9.56, should I go for a little bit longer? Any opinions, anyone? She was probably high. Who, Alexa or the girl? Okay. Checking some things real quick. Longer, okay. I'll go for a little bit longer, and then I'll end this here soon. Probably uh, head to bed and wake up early in the morning to get the rest of the orders done. Hey, we gained a subscriber. Awesome. On both. Okay. <laughs> nice. It looks as hot, too. Yeah, a bit longer. Okay. All right. I'll go for a little bit longer. Okay, so 16 views. Nice. Okay, I just want to make sure. I don't usually get a lot of views, so 16 views is pretty nice. <laughs> you know, actually, since uh, I went to Brickwell, Chicago, I got tons of views from those videos. And, oh, my God, my Harry Potter video from the other day, wow, it's five, five days ago, but it's up to 300 uh, views, and that's pretty decent for my channel. So, you know, my, uh, my analytics or my uh, AdSense account is probably going to go up quite a bit. I feel like I gained $12 this month. That's awesome. It's crazy. I have like a saving or not savings, but a vesting account and I make 25 cents a day, I believe. So yeah, I am banking, man. Banking so much. Uh, let's see. I gained two subscribers and I don't even make videos during this stream. So thanks be it. Oh, awesome. I'm glad that you gained subscribers. So no problem. But it's probably because of you commenting and such and uh, talking with everyone. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it's not telling me really anything in informative. Um, uh, my Google AdSense account, so hopefully it goes up. Uh, I don't know when exactly it happens, but you know we'll find out here soon, hopefully. Because it says today so far zero dollars. Yesterday zero dollars. Last seven days zero dollars. Last this month zero dollars. Why is it not updating? That's so weird. Uh, $12, I usually make like 10 a month on, of YouTube. Well, $12 for me this month because of the Brick World Chicago videos. Those uh, did pretty well, so that's why I'm getting quite a bit on those, so that's why. Well, I gotta go, have a good one. See ya, Brickmaster23, thank you so much for coming. I just, uh, just unsubscribed. <laughs> you talked too much, oh my god. Port, uh, port collecting bricks, that's sad. All right, I think we've been going for almost an hour and 20 minutes. So we'll go for another five minutes potentially because we're down to eight people watching now. So we'll, uh, we'll end this here soon. Uh, AdSense only adds YouTube earnings once a month on the 12th. Okay, so it's the 12th. All right, so I'll look at it July 12th then. Sadly, uh, if I make $12 on there, uh, by the time it's the eighth for me, I will have significantly more money than I would ever make on YouTube, which is crazy. <laughs> Hopefully one day that those two switch, but uh, I, I don't know. I cannot wait for my paycheck to come in. I'm so desperate. <laughs> let's see. Let's add two strikes to your tab. LOL. <laughs> it adds the previous month's income on that day. Alexa, tell alarm.com to turn on the lights. Okay, sure. cool. Turning on your lights. 
Okay, this is not working at all. I don't know why. Page CTR. Okay. You know, I don't know. Okay, so here's uh, from YouTube itself. It says, in the past month, I have made $11.75. So that's awesome. Hopefully that will be right. But let's see this month, possibly. Okay, so it is the same amount. Okay. June 1st to 26th. Wow. wow. So at the beginning or at the very end of last month, I only gained like 20 cents or something. But this month, for the past 26 days, I've gained $11. Yay. Uh, let's see. What are you going to do with those $12 you made? I hope don't I, I hope don't spend it all at one place. Yeah, no, I won't spend it all. Oh, geez, now I'm messing up my words. No, I won't spend it all at one place because I won't get it until I reach $100 on my AdSense account. Currently, I'm at like 705 so I have a ways to go. And I was suspecting like uh, I make potentially $7 each and every month, so I'd get there in about a year and a half if the math's right for that. But today, uh, this month, you know, $12, that's decent. That is going to be this much closer to reaching the 100 mark. So hopefully we can reach that. That would be amazing. Uh, I've got to come up with some good videos this summer to get my revenue up a bit. Yeah, I cannot wait for my videos to come out for the uh, Lockwood Estate because I'm going to have like a little update series and then the final video. And I really hope that that does well because my uh, Wayne Manor got over 48,000 views and that translates into like $50, sorry, $50. So that definitely helped out my AdSense account. So hopefully it's, it's going to be the same for that. But, you know, I'm a smaller YouTube channel. So hopefully uh, things could potentially work out for me uh, with that. But I don't know. Since I'm small, it doesn't, doesn't really help. No, I think you will uh reach it by the end of the year i believe in you oh, thank you appreciate that hopefully fingers crossed fingers crossed that that happens that would be amazing this uh stream is definitely helping me out with that uh the revenue so doing a lot of streams with uh tons of people watching and such will definitely help you out in uh getting the ads adsense you know so thank you guys so much for being here seven people watching even though it's seven people um that's been like a steady seven throughout the whole stream. And uh, it's like over an hour and 20 minutes or something. So that should hopefully give me a few cents. So appreciate it, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Can you react to Captain Underpants? Captain Underpants? What do you mean? The uh, the movie that came out recently or the, um, the TV show that's coming out on Netflix? Excuse me. <clears throat> Losing my voice, but yeah, the TV show that's supposed to come out on Netflix. I'm at 107.87. I'm withholding payment uh, for a, a while so I can get a larger amount at a time. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a pretty good idea for that. And uh, is that part of like the Brick Nation or is that just like all the money that you make? Because I don't know if the Brick Nation has ads on it, but you said that you um, you had it attached to your account for that. Because the Brick Nation, wow, they made so much money from that one video. Uh, or if the ads are on that, you know. So if you want a larger audience, I can hook, hook you up. I, I know a guy with 21,000 subscribers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have a lot of subscribers. Well, if you want to give a shout-out, but uh, I, I'm not begging for shout-outs. I'm hopefully going to get there uh, at some point. <laughs> we'll see. Can you tell us your embarrassing moment you have in your life? your life an embarrassing moment in my life um there's quite a few you know i kind of embarrassed myself with uh relaying that there was a couple girls in my class i like and one was 15 but i i don't like her ah there we go no i just <laughs> no, i did something <laughs> there's an embarrassing moment of my life right there i'm not saying that i like her i was just saying that um or what I'm trying to relay is the person that sits right next to me asked, hey, how old do you think that girl is? And I'm like, uh, on Monday, she told us she was 15, and I believe you're 21. So, yeah, that's not going to work out, man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's crazy that there's like four girls in the class that are 15 years old. So it's pretty young 
for uh, being in college. But they're dual enrollment, so they're doing high school and college at the same time. I wish I did that because that would be so much easier than what I'm going through right now. Got to go, Brick Worlds. I have work. Okay, see you, Joaquin. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it. Uh, I almost have... I'm almost halfway to uh, 1,000 subscribers. Nice, man. I thought that you were at like 200 the other day. So if you gained so many in a short period of time, so that's awesome. Congrats. Uh, that that amount is currently in my bank account sitting there. What is $100? You only have like $100 in your bank account? <laughs> it's crazy. Man, five people watching now. Darn. It stinks. It's fine, though. Uh, for my big account, I'm growing it significantly. I have been like another 250, you know, it's like $300 on the way to my big account from uh, orders that came in yesterday and today. So I will have, uh, I'll have 1600. Uh, so that's awesome. And that's, uh, that's not all my money. I, I don't want to tell exactly how much I have, but um, I'm glad that that's not only what I have, if you understand, I guess. Uh, this is for, or this is from my channel. I had been at like 100 or 98 before the single month of TBN income we had going. Oh, so the Brook Nation did give you quite a bit of money. That's awesome. Five people watching after the embarrassing story you shared. <laughs> it wasn't really a, it wasn't really a story. It's so weird. No, I meant the TBN money already went into my bank account. It was like $100, so it just automatically came out. Dang, man. <laughs> Made $100 from that? Why is it? Uh, it's like at 400,000 views, though. So why is it not even higher than that? Hey, James Box is here. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, now we're back up to eight people watching. That is awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming back <laughs> or coming in or something. However, you uh, transported yourselves to watching this stream as it gets into its final moments. As I check my emails real quick, okay. Nothing new, sadly. Oh man, 10 p.m. Last night I went to bed at 12. It was crazy. And I almost fell asleep at school today. This, uh, my teacher was like instructing us of how these assignments that we're going to be uh, submitting today were going to go. And I was like, oh my God, I, I know how it works. Just let me do this. And I was closing each of my eyes, trying to give it a break for a second and then closing the other one. It was just crazy. It's 3 a.m. for you. Why you, you just go to sleep. It's probably the same for James Box too. So why are you guys here? <laughs> just go to sleep unless you wake up early like this all the time. Wow, how many uh, crushes do you have right now? Let me see. One, um, I guess two, kind of, let, let me think, hold on. Three, oh, there's four. I did have past crushes, which are five, six, and seven. Uh, but um, yeah, right now, I guess it, it's mainly four or five, but uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> How that'll work. Uh, because it got demonetized after one month, even though we'd made it to the threshold on literally the last day, guess we were too close. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's cool, though. Well, oh, yeah, that's right. You, you told me before, or you told someone that you submitted it for um, review. So hopefully that goes through soon, because if it keeps growing, then that'd be awesome to make more income from all that. Records, I have way too many crushes to remember <laughs> oh geez yeah i have a lot of crushes but i can't remember them all i'd have to you know look at like a photo of them or something or yeah i guess a photo because i, I don't i don't know all their names <laughs> it's not really a crush though if you don't know their names probably all right wow we're back up to 11 people watching that's great thank you guys appreciate it and 15 likes, that is pretty cool, pretty nice. Let's see, is anyone else streaming right now? Because I feel like we gained quite a few viewers back. So someone might have stopped streaming then. But uh, what is everyone's plans for 
this coming weekend. Any uh any interesting stuff? Wow. Okay. So three people are uh, are streaming right now. Yeah, that's crazy. So Brick Queen is streaming. She's got forty five people on her stream. Tay Bricks is streaming. I thought I saw him earlier in my stream. So that's weird. Jamie Bricks is streaming as well. Let's see. But in all seriousness, if you wanted to make like a first update for the Lockwood Estate video, I could upload it to my channel and hopefully it could uh, direct some good traffic to your mock building series. Oh, okay. Well, I'll think about that. I'm not totally sure uh, how I could, you know, exactly make that work, but um, I could possibly, I'm sure my video wouldn't ha or couldn't be very long. So I'll try and uh, see if I could uh, make it pretty short because right now I have, one uh, one clip so far, and I wanted it to make it a little bit longer, like uh, a little update, kind of like a sketch that, or not a sketch, but a, a, a drawing of what I plan on doing. Right now, it's a minute and 39 seconds, so I don't know how I can give that to you. I'll figure it out, though. Uh, we are waiting for the next embarrassing story. Uh, let me think about one, but let me catch up with all the comments real quick. Your queen is streaming. Yes. Yeah, she's... Uh, Streaming about her thoughts on the the minifigures. She's trying to milk that as much as she can. Everyone's just trying to do that milk uh milk all these new news um information out as much as they can. It's kind of crazy. You know, I haven't even really talked about it, but I'm not going to do it because that'll be milking the situation. <laughs> I've had so many crushes in the past. Yeah, same here, man. I had one crush that I was so close to asking out. I asked. I asked my friend um, if he thought it was a good idea because he dated her before and he was like, yeah, man, go for it. But I never did. And he asked her um, if, uh, if she would have said yes. And she said no, because at the time I was very heavy, very heavy at the time. Let me, let me show you uh, what I think uh, at that time. Yes, yeah, this is 2013. Uh, it's a very weird photo. Let me make sure I can see it. Um, yeah, that's why I used to look like back five years ago, even though, you know, can't really tell because uh, my face is turning like that. But uh, I think that's before I got my Grossberg. Obviously, I, I got more of a neck now. It's not all connected. So it looks, uh, I, I guess you could say I look better with the neck. <laughs> kind of looks, sounds weird. Like, Hey, look at this boy. He's got a neck on him. <laughs> Who would go around like that and just say that? <laughs> Sounds so weird. Oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, let me continue that. So she said no, and I find, find out a month later that he is now dating her again. And he only did it because I was interested in her, which was very crazy that he did that because we were good friends. And we hung out quite a bit. And after that, we really didn't hang out all that much because, you know, I was interested in her and he was like dating her now. So um, he felt like it was awkward. So he wasn't hanging out with me. So uh, then like a year and a half go, goes by and they finally break up. They, they gave each other promise rings to marry each other. But, you know, that fell through. And then turns out like a few months ago, he was – planning on uh, moving to college or go to college someplace, but he was invited to go on a trip with a, or go to a friend's house in like North Carolina or something. So he decided to drive all day and kind of like all night and doing that, getting yourself so exhausted driving such a far distance. He, uh, he wrecked his car and he, um, I don't think he got hurt, but I think he wrecked his car pretty badly. And, you know, he lost a lot of money on that. I'm pretty sure he had a charger, a, a charger car, because he, he got a job to afford a ring for his girlfriend. But he used that money, of course, to buy the car now. So that was crazy. And then he comes back, uh, like, I think three months ago or something. Uh, him and I meet again. Like, he, he comes to the house. I, I think we were having, like, a party or something. I get to talk to him for a couple of minutes. I was like, uh, actually, no, this wasn't three months ago. This was back in December. Sorry, forgot. But um, it was a very awkward situation because of our past and such. And 
I thought he was gay. He seems like he's gay and uh, he might be gay now because he broke up with uh, the girl I liked. So I don't know. It's, it's very interesting. So yeah, that's my story. Let's catch up with the chat. I don't have anything going on until July 6th, seeing Ant-Man and the Wasp first day. Okay, so it comes out in July. That was November or something. So, okay, cool. Just uh, been helping Brainy Bricks to find, excuse me, find info on rare sticker sheet. Uh, it's never sold on Bricklink, so that was fun. <laughs> nice. That's cool, man. Let's all play nice BW. <laughs> Yeah, if you're interested, hit me up on Hanos. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, try and uh, hit you up here soon. Maybe Alexa can ask her out for you. Well, it's too late now. Oh, so I didn't have much uh, to catch up on. Okay. Uh, oh, to be young again. <laughs> People are saying uh, are going so crazy over the short, movable minifigures' legs, but they don't look good in my opinion okay yeah i gotta check that out it's very interesting two people now have told me about that like a man from the midwest is here welcome thank you so much for coming oh cute baby <laughs> it's five years ago i was 15 back then it's crazy 15 and i was so chubby i think it was like 254 pounds there i think they look good yeah uh it's like having the bottom of your things done to your ankles bottom of your what <laughs> And the bottom of your, of the crop is, okay. Hey, how did uh, Brick World go? It was good. I uh, really enjoyed it. Cannot wait for next year. Uh, next year, it will be a lot of fun to go back for the second time. How many parties have you been to and were they fun? I've been tons. Of, uh, I've been gone. Blah, 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 blah. Cannot speak right now. I have been to so many parties. We mainly host most of these parties that, you know, happen and such. Like here in a few days for July 4th, we'll be hosting another party here in a week, actually, because July 4th is in a week. So, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. We'll be on, we'll probably be partying about the same time right, right now. But yeah, I've been to so many parties throughout, you know, my whole life. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, Brickwall does, does not go, want to go. <laughs> no, I, I want to go. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going to that. Cannot wait. Oh, 136. Okay, so let's shoot for two hours then. Another 24 minutes or something. Because we got nine people watching right now. A few comments here and there, so it's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Let's update my subscription box. See if there's anything new. Okay, two people streaming now. How to rob your Brickling store. Lego tutorials. <laughs> Why is that a video? <laughs> uh, it looked down memory lane. Eminar joined his video, uh, his stream. Jeez, uh, so sad. Like uh, Lego Ninjago. Oh my, jeez, Croft Studios. Okay, so another video by Brick Queen talking about the um, the minifigures. It's crazy. You should do this more often. I uh, I will try. As long as I don't have many orders to do. Holy cow. Okay, she, so she made one, two, three, and now a live stream about the uh, CMFs, the Harry Potter CMFs. That is crazy. She is literally milking it as much as she can because she got over 4,000 views on her first video today and then got 3,000 views and then wanted to make another video because she was like, oh my God, it's don't going so well, so let me make another video. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. How about I do a karaoke live stream on July 3rd to celebrate July 4th? <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. I could uh, potentially join that because I think uh, I'd only have school one day next week, so that would be awesome. But yeah, let me know. I'll, I'll join in for a few minutes or, or something. What's your Bricklink store name? My Bricklink store link, if you want, is in the uh, description. It is uh, the first link in there, so if you want to check it out, uh, it's it's there. A hey, uh, Pat Pat and TV, welcome! Thank you so much for coming. Let me grab a sip. Got to hydrate. Uh, 
Easy money, obviously. Yep, definitely easy money for her. For me, I cannot wait to uh, get started on a Harry Potter mock when the sets come in and such. Many of your dreams already let me know whatever he gets his first uh, Harry Potter sets. He's going to hit me up with the uh, amazing deals that he always comes with. He told me a few days ago, though, that um, a uh, seller had four of the great halls already, and he was going to sell them to him for $325. And that's really not a good deal because that's $75 less than or $75 in total less than retail. And uh, he usually gets them for like half off most of the time and he usually gives me them for like 40 40 percent off in a way actually no he probably gets them for a lot less than that but you know he, he could have gotten them pretty early so that would have been awesome but he wouldn't have been able to sell them for all that much because uh it's it's only 325 dollars uh spending on it and, or it's only 75 dollars less than retail so he wouldn't make much on that in canada we celebrate on july 1st what do you guys celebrate? What's what's it called? Uh, what you celebrate July first? I think we should celebrate the Fourth of July on November second. <laughs> Jeez, man, uh, it's a much better date. Why? Why is it a much better date? Is it because that's when it actually happened or something? Uh, I forget the history exactly, but um, I don't think the signing was on that correct day or something. Canada Day, of course. Canada wants to do it on on July first. That's crazy. See, I had a crush on a girl for five years, and I ended up realizing last year that she's not my type. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the girl I was talking about earlier, I found out she's not really my type at all. She is, she's really, uh, she grew up in a rich house, so she is um, a snobby girl and like just is all in it for the money in a way, uh, or just all about the money, so. Yeah, it's a difficult situation like that. Like if I ever met someone that was like very rich or something, uh, I wouldn't care about the money at all. I would always offer to pay for the meals and such. Uh, and maybe at some point if I don't have enough money left, I would say, hey, uh, I, I got to start going on a budget. So maybe we can do like some picnics or something. I make you a meal or I pay for your dinner and I just eat, the, uh, I just sit there and drink water or something. <laughs> That's what I've been thinking about if that ever happens because I'd, that'd be so cool. Or geez. Now, now I just feel awkward sharing my deepest fantasies. I guess you could call it fantasy. I don't know. Uh, aren't you talking history right now? <laughs> you talk yeah, I'm taking history right now. It, yeah, you didn't say talking. I don't know if I said talking, but yeah, I'm taking history right now. So I'm learning about the history. I, I'll find out uh, when the signing was actually um, when the signing actually happened. Because the funny thing is, this history class is actually telling mostly the truth about the history. Because today we learned about Pocahontas, and I already knew about Pocahontas, uh, not the, like the children's story and what you learn in uh, elementary school or grade school that uh, Pocahontas is actually like 18 or above. Uh, in uh, in the, the children's story in, in the uh, grade school, she's actually ten or twelve years old when um, when uh, James is it James or is it something else? Like uh, the the actual character is real, but the age is wrong. Like it's completely wrong. And she died at twenty one, which is crazy to think she died so young. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. I'm only into anime girls. <laughs> Well, anime stuff is uh, pretty interesting. A lot of it's, you know, nice. <laughs> Let's see, I was uh, trying to trigger Brick Queen in her stream, but I wasn't work. Uh, I wasn't working, so I'm here now. Well, welcome, Adore. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate you coming to the stream. Uh, does many of your dreams get any of the big Ninjago sets? I might need to hit him up if he can get some good deals. Okay, let me um, let me look. He posted an image the other day about uh, about some of the things he got. So he might have gotten some Ninjago stuff in there. Let me look real quick. Yeah, he got he, he got some Ninjago stuff. He got the uh, temple set, like the, the recent temple set. I don't know exactly which one that is. And then he got another Ninjago set. I don't think he gets a whole lot of Ninjago sets, but he, um, oh, he got another Ninjago set down there. 
He has the Destiny's Bounty. He gets the Destiny's Bounty quite a bit. Uh, I think he usually sells them for like a hundred dollars, but for me, he sells them for ninety. Uh, that was really awesome. He sold it for ninety for me, but I would never buy that set ever again because it is not worth the part out. <laughs> Sadly, uh, also November second is Cookie Monster Day. <laughs> wow. Uh, God keep our land glory and free, O oh, Canada. We stand on guard for T T three T. I don't. I don't know. Very interesting. Uh, way cooler holiday. Jeez. Also looking for circles. Circles day. So that's cool. circles day. What is that? I think Rose Ticka is so hot. Rose Ticka. Okay, let me look her up. I don't know who that is. Okay, search in. Pull it up on the other screen. Oh, that her. Okay. Well, if you're into Japanese girls, wait, you don't know her actual real life name? That's the that's the name of the character. She was played by Kelly Tran. Kelly Tran. <laughs> she's 29 years old. Uh, I think she's a little older than you. <laughs> and uh, plan your. I don't know what that is. Lots of good holidays on. <laughs> oh my God. You know, one crazy uh, hall, um, day is December 22nd. If you uh, if you know what I mean, the Brick Queen stuff. Uh, we need to stream together some sometime. Yeah, man. Uh, whenever I stream next or I'll hit you up whenever I plan on streaming next and then see if you want to join or something. We'll see if that works out. Even though I don't like uh, Brick Queen, I haven't heard her talk about the Brick Buster SP. I guess she's taking it pretty well. I guess so. I, I don't know exactly. Uh, I guess she was trying to make people feel bad for her with uploading a video about her grandma dying uh, a few minutes before the Brick Buster actually went out. But I never actually saw that video. But from whatever, what I heard from uh, Ryan was that it was. Uh, it was talking about her grandma dying but five years ago. Like, how's that making sense? Why, why would you talk about it now? Like, the, I, don't, I don't know. I should watch the video so I can get more details about it. But uh, pretty pretty sure that he said um, her grandma died like five years ago or something. I got the Destiny's Bounty, Bounty already. It's an amazing set. Yeah, I like it. But it's just like it's a horrible part, part out for going on uh, a Brickling store and such. I'm more of a Ray guy myself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely a Ray guy myself as well. Um, oh, wow. I see your image right here. Star Wars The Last Jedi is now on Netflix. Cannot wait to watch it to see Ray. <laughs> you know, she's close to my age. I think she's like 24, so we're like three years apart, so it's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. I love the brick. <laughs> no, it's uh, looking for Circles Day. Looking for, I don't know what that is. A boy can dream. Yeah, a boy can dream. There's a lot of there's a lot of amazing women in the uh, in the uh, starlight um, section of Hollywood. December twenty second is now a national holiday. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I like March thirtieth. Why do you like March thirtieth? What is about that? Grass is always browner on the other side of the fence day. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is weird. Oh, uh, Daisy Ridley. Got her image right Oh, she's 26? What was I reading that she was 24? Oh, never mind. I think I know now. Back in 2015, she was 24. And now she's 26. That makes sense. <laughs> I think Carrie Fisher is more in my league. Oh, wait. Wow. <laughs> Trying to make something out of that, <laughs> I guess. Let's see. All right. All right. No new comments. There was one person that I saw recently, or, you know, one of the Star Wars characters that I really liked is um, Padme Amidala. Amidala. I don't know her actually, actual name right now. Let me uh, look it up. Padme. Excuse me. Amidala. Okay. Star Wars. Just say two, Star Wars 2. Just come up with the uh, cast. 
Uh, Natalie Portman. Yep. Yeah, Natalie Portman. And also, whatever. Oh, God, what is her name? Uh, there's another one. You know, Hermione. Hermione. Oh, I like her. But I think she's like 24. Uh, Natalie is 37, oh, yeah. too. But still. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the dog is dreaming back there. But as uh, Collecting Bricks said, a guy can dream. Shh. I'm gonna kick you out. Stop dreaming. Um, all right, let's just look up Harry Potter because I want to know her name. I forget her name. It's crazy. Hermione. I think it's Hermione. Movies. Emma Watson. Yeah, she is amazing. 28. Oh my God, why is she so old? It's crazy. All right, Google it. They're all real. I know I'm trying to look them up. Natalie Portman. <laughs> you guys got them. Got the name pretty quickly. All these holidays. I just called Brick Queen all the names in the book. Oh my God. Jeez, man. Jeez, you guys are so quick with me. <laughs> She's 28. Yeah, 28. About eight years older than me, sadly. It's not that bad. She looks like she's my age. Uh, so let's see. What do you got there? Kraya Knightley. Thirty-three. Who she do? Oh, she's in Pride and Oh, that's not the Pride and Prejudice that I was thinking about. Oh, isn't that the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, person? She was. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, I like her too. <laughs> Jeez, man. Uh, but since none of the Star Wars characters are Japanese cartoons, then they're not my type. Oh, so you're into Japanese women only then. Wow. Well, there's a pretty uh, good looking Japanese woman or something or Korean. You know, I don't know. Uh, I can't tell exactly. But uh, in Pacific Rim, uh, let me look. Because I'm pretty sure there was a... It was a good looking person. <laughs> yeah, I think we should stop talking about that, that type of stuff. Not her. Um, it's her? I guess she's decent, but she's Chinese. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I can't tell the difference sometimes, but I just get confused Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. Okay, so she was Japanese, this person I was thinking about. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Lol. So, is this when I leave you, <laughs> so you guys can keep? <laughs> okay, we're gonna stop stopping about that. Lol. Twenty eight is not old. I didn't say she was old. Or um, the just uh, just for um. Uh, well, now I forgot her name again. Oh my god, Emma Watson. Yeah, she's not bad. She's not bad for her age. Uh, Lol. Yeah, it's. It is <laughs> December 28th is national. Okay, let's just stop about that. Jeez. Or the thoughts are, are the thought. Oh my God, more cookies. Stop it. Jeez. Okay, eight more minutes, guys. You did say she was old. Eh, she, she's old, but not that bad. Uh, right. Uh, but Hermione from Ninjago is my favorite. Her, her I don't know who that is. All right. Oh, oh yeah, I'm so tired. Oh, that's her. Okay. I don't know how to say her name. All right. Okay, we're done with that. <laughs> Down to seven people watching out. Which time zone is Brick Queen streaming from? Answer multiple ones. Get it? Okay, I'll stop before I start. We talk about multiple ones. She's uh, she's in uh, Central Time, I believe. 
I also thought Emma Watson was younger because of how she looks. Yeah, yeah, I thought she was younger too, but you know, that's fine. <laughs> you meant to type 22, December 22nd. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jeez. All right. What are we at? What are we at? Six minutes or less than six minutes now? Okay. I guess I'm probably not gonna work out tonight. <laughs> Just probably gonna do push-ups and sit-ups and fall asleep. All right, so any more comments before I end off this stream? Appreciate everyone coming in and watching the stream tonight. It's been a fun time. Had a, a lot of interesting stuff go on, talking about uh, a lot of things. All right, well, looks like a Collecting Bricks is done. Let's see, I might buy Mutt Williams from your store. I'll ask my dad if I can. Okay, cool, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, well, thank you all so much for coming in. Appreciate uh, you all watching and sticking with the stream for, you know, past two hours. Uh, I'm, I mean, like, the joke, your mom's so... F oh, <laughs> jeez, man. All right. Well, thank you all so much for coming in, and we'll see you in the next one, hopefully here in a few days. See ya.